Related mishap here one more time filming my uh, third and final video of the evening I'll, I'm sure I'll space out these uploads a little bit because they take you know a, a couple hours worth of editing a piece uh, not so much it's not really the editing that takes that long it's more like the file saving and the uploading and like the prepping the files and all that kinds of stuff but anyway these are all my cars that I've gotten in the last month or so that are not of the Hot Wheels variety. And I'll start off with Matchbox because that's what I have the most of. Here I've got this uh, 71 Pontiac Firebird Formula. I picked up two of them. The pack on this one's not fantastic, but, you know, I got a friend who I'm pretty sure would dig it as long as uh, he doesn't already have a copy. We'll see. Uh, Adrian X, are you listening? I'm working on getting a uh, package together for you, buddy. My uh, fellow Pennsylvanian. <clears throat> Here we've got a Chevy Camaro SS396 convertible in gold. Pretty rad. This one, like, it f just feels bulkier than many of the other uh, matchbox cars like right here for comparison I guess it's not that much bigger it it looks a lot chunkier though uh, here I found finally after searching for months the elusive field tripper which I love I think it's really cool cool little school bus casting I at race grooves I can't remember what uh, what they changed the name to but race grooves uploaded a video where he was talking about how they changed the name on these things because I guess they were considered offensive in another country the world word field tripper my guess is the UK but uh, I can't remember what they changed the name to but this is the first naming of them before they changed it <clears throat> and finally for Matchbox, well, I guess not finally, but I also found a 63 Mac B fire truck. I like these old school fire trucks. Cool stuff. And then here now finally from Matchbox, not a car, but I found this uh, GB airplane. Found this at Christmas tree shops pretty cool I actually picked two of these up one of them is going to be a Christmas present for someone who that I know who really loves GB's he'll probably stick it on his model train set <clears throat> here I've got a Disney Pixar Cars Fillmore which I picked up I don't this is the only cars you know Disney cars related vehicle that I have but I love VW's so obviously in these movies Fillmore is my favorite character uh, voiced by what is it Tommy Chong I believe right pretty cool loads and loads of bumper stickers lots of tampos on this thing interesting stuff happy to have that one I do enjoy the Cars movies, don't get me wrong, I just don't own the car because they're a little bit like, a little kiddie to me. Uh, this one, I probably should have saved this until last, but I'm going to show you anyway. This here is the M2 Ford Mustang, 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429, and I don't know if you can tell, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if you can tell by looking at it in uh, my slightly too dark room that I'm filming in but this is the chase piece uh, it's got gold wheels and trim on it pretty sweet car I'm not that in the Mustangs I've said that before I love bright green though and uh, kind of been trying to get as much of the 50th anniversary stuff that I can my wife is a Mustang fan when we started dating she uh, 
she was driving a, a convertible 2004 I, I've I've made that mistake before I think it was a 2004 I'm sure she'll see this video and correct me on it but uh yeah cool car happy to have it. it's my first m2 chase not that i own many m2s to begin with but uh there you go limited to 3,000 pieces pretty sweet happy to have found it here i've got a couple maisto all-stars 65 cadillac deville which is just cool looking so i picked it up i'm not you know not a big big Cadillac fan but I love these Maisto cars this is probably I only own three of these things now hopefully I'll find more of them that I like usually when I go it's like uh, like Vipers and like you know all the ones that everybody sees all the time and those are just not cars that I'm into I'm not into supercars uh, I like odd little old cars and like you know, weird stuff that not everybody, that don't get a lot of love. This is a 67 Volkswagen 1600 square back, Mexican taxi style. Pretty sweet. I was so excited when I found this one. I shot a, a Gabba Devil 12, a text message about it right away, and he was like, yeah, I already have one. <laughs> Which is, like, not surprising, I guess, because that guy, his collection is crazy impressive. He's he's got to be hunting just constantly I go like once a week maybe and haven't had very much luck as of recent found a couple interesting things but nothing too too crazy and finally I've got this green light Hollywood anchorman legend of Ron Burgundy the Channel 4 news team Dodge van with a satellite dish on it uh, maybe somebody can tell me a little bit more about these things I don't I'm not really that familiar with green lights I know that sometimes they come with like green bases and stuff on them so what's what's the deal with that what's the difference this thing's really sweet I love the detail that they put into it I know Hot Wheels has uh, their own version uh, of this same van actually but I, love, I just love that like 1970s Dodge panel van that's pretty sweet <clears throat> so anyway I think that should about do it for this video thank you everyone for watching as always keep on collecting and uh, you know having fun and enjoying the hobby and, and being cool to each other and, and doing trades and sending all your RAOKs uh, I mean, well, I haven't gotten any, but, you know, to everyone else and, and just being good to each other and all that kinds of stuff. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.